Hi friends, welcome back. I'm Jillian with Sanctuary Gardens. It's been a long time since I've done a video, um, so this is way overdue, but I wanted to go over today how to plant garlic and basically all about garlic. Garlic is one of those really easy plants um, that take minimal effort. They're so easy to plant and basically you can kind of forget about them until next summer. When is the right time to plant garlic? Um, if you live anywhere close to me, which is somewhere in the Pacific Northwest, I'm on the western side of Washington State, um, this is a great time to plant garlic, anywhere between the beginning or end of September through the end of October. Um, if you live somewhere up north, you probably want to start it closer to the middle of September. If you live somewhere way south, you can plant it, I mean, I think you can plant it as late as spring. Um, but ideally, in this uh, climate that I have, I'm planting mine in about the middle of October. Garlic has a really long growing season. Um, I'm planting mine, let's see, October, and I'm gonna be harvesting it at the beginning of July. That's like almost nine months. So yeah, it's a really, it has a really long growing season. But what's so great, like I said, is basically once you've planted it today, um, fertilize it once in the spring and that's it. You just kind of keep watching it and you don't have to do much. What kind of garlic should I plant? Uh, there are two different types of garlic. Now, of course, there's many multiple varieties, but they fall under these two categories. There are soft necks and there are hard neck varieties. And it depends on what you want, which one you plant, or you can plant both. Hard neck is, has a hard neck <laughs> and soft neck has a soft neck. That's like the basics of it. But um, usually you see this stem here. Um, this would be, you know, your full plant with the leaves. Um, with a hard neck, the, the neck here would go all the way through to the base of the garlic versus, or the base of the head versus with a soft neck, it basically ends right about here. Hard necks tend to be more cold hardy. So if you live somewhere north, hard necks might be your best variety. Um, but soft necks actually have a longer storage time, which is why I chose them. The other reason I chose soft necks is they're awesome for braiding. You can't really braid hard necks, but you can braid the soft necks and I did that this year and it was super fun. And that's why I chose soft necks last year. Soft necks also create um, more uh, cloves in the head versus hard necks create less cloves, but they tend to be bigger. And they'll just do, it'll be one layer of cloves around here versus with the soft necks, there'll be multiple layers of cloves. The other thing is hard necks in the spring will create uh, what's called a scape, which is like the beginning of the flower of the garlic. Um, you would need to pick those off to create a bigger clove or to create bigger cloves. Um, and you, those scapes are actually edible. So a lot of people really like that. Soft necks don't create scapes at all. So that's the basics between hard neck, soft neck. Um, I personally would want to grow both if I could. I'm planting last year's cloves. And that's another really good point here too as well. Can you plant store-bought garlic? Um, <laughs> short answer is yes, technically you can. It's not recommended. Um, these are certified organic uh, seed garlic that I planted last year. Um, so I know that these are gonna create really big, beautiful bulbs and they're gonna have good results. With store-bought garlic, it's not um, seed garlic, it's more culinary garlic. And so the results usually are mediocre. Um, they tend to create smaller bulbs and maybe not quite as good germination. So you take some risks. Um, they could also have diseases. They're not certified disease free. Uh, but this year has a lot of places have sold out of garlic. So maybe this is the year that people are going to start trying to plant uh, store-bought garlic. So I'm going to talk about bed preparation. Um, I have a bed here that I have already prepared for the garlic. Um, basically garlic, because it has such a long growing season, you really need to make sure that it has very fertile soil, soil at the onset because it's going to be using nutrients for so long and it's hard to fertilize and really um, amend the soil when there's garlic in it. Um, you will fertilize it in the spring, but you want to start with a really fertile bed. So what I did here, this bed actually rested all season and I planted a cover crop in it and I can go over cover crops another time, but basically the idea with the cover crop was I grew these, this, these different plant varieties through the summer, tilled them into the soil. And what they did was they added nitrogen back into the soil. I also added a layer of our homemade compost. And then I just added a general, um, just a general fertilizer. I also added some azomite, which is uh, more of the mineral aspect of fertilizing. 
the, the one tip when it comes to planting garlic is um, the bigger the clove, the bigger the head you're going to get in the spring. So if you have a really small, like small cloves, they tend to create smaller heads. So I tend to pick um, heads that look like they have some really big cloves. So that way I'll have some bigger uh, heads next spring. Now I have a handy trick here. Um, they say to plant garlic about six inches apart. And I'm very, I like to be very specific on how to um, make sure that they're exactly six inches apart. So I have this handy triangle and I'll plant a garlic at each end of point of the triangle. I'll show you how I do that. But this is so that I make sure that all my garlic is exactly six inches apart. Um, and I can really make sure that I'm compacting the space. Uh, this is a trick I learned from my dad and I'll show you how I do it. So first thing you're going to want to do is uh, break the head apart, but you want to leave the skin on the cloves because that adds a layer of protection. So you don't want to peel this completely back as though you were going to eat the garlic. You're just going to break it apart, but make sure that that skin is still on there. You can take off some excess skin, but make sure most of the skin is on there. So here's all my garlic. Now you can see I cut the skin on there. And um, these are some actually pretty large cloves that I got from last year. I was really, really pleased. I think this variety is early red Italian, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I was very pleased with these. They're very flavorful and um, created really nice big cloves. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a kind of a line that will start my row. I'm going to go, let's see, I don't want to get too close to the edge. I'm going to go right about there. There we go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take my triangle, I'm going to place it where the flat end of it, one of the flat ends, is against that line. And I'm going to take my garlic and I'm going to put one on each corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it. This garlic here becomes the next, uh, the one corner there. And I'm just going to add more garlic and I leave it at the, I don't plant it right away. I like to see where it is is before I actually um, put it in the ground. So as you can see here, if I were to lay my six inch triangle, this is my line that I had drawn before. I put a garlic clove on each corner. They're exactly six inches apart from each other. Now I'm gonna start the next row and I'm gonna use that garlic there. I'm probably not gonna plant because that's a little too close to the edge. I'm gonna plant the next row using my triangle and the garlic cloves I already put down as my guide. And I'm not worried right now about which way the garlic is facing. I'm just laying it all out and I'll go over how to actually plant it in just a minute. All right, so I got my bed um, completely laid out and you can see doing it, this method using the triangle, everything is spaced out perfectly. And this really appeals to the organization side of me. So what we're going to do next is we're actually going to plant the garlic. The perfect um, depth is one to two inches, which I usually calculate um, close to about my knuckle, um, somewhere around there. This pointy part here that was facing up in the bulb is what goes up. I mean, just imagine a shoot coming out. You, whenever you have garlic and you've had it sit too long and it uh, starts to um, sprout, in those green shoots come out, they always come out from that top part there. That's where you want that facing up so that the shoot can continue growing up. This flat part down here that was connected to the base or the root system of the bulb, that's gonna be facing down. All right, so first I create a hole about uh, to my knuckle, my second knuckle. I'm gonna place that clove right down in there and cover it up. The last thing I'm going to be doing to this bed is adding a layer of mulch. Uh, for, for me, it would be straw. You can also use um, grass clippings or especially this time of year, you can use all your uh, fall leaves. That's the basics on uh, all about garlic and planting it. In the spring, I'll talk about um, fertilizing it because uh, garlic really does need a lot of nitrogen. So in the spring, I usually uh, fertilize it with some heavy nitrogen and then you harvest it in, the, in July. And at some point, I'll probably do a video on braiding garlic because that was really fun. And I'll probably do it again next year.
So hope you learned something new today in the video. Please be sure to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll be coming out with a couple more videos as uh, fall progresses. Until next time, go out and grow something. God bless.